Hello everybody and welcome back to the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and it has been a little bit of time for me. It has been a little bit of time indeed. Um, we are gonna play as... I don't know who we're gonna play as. Andromeda. We unlocked Andromeda recently. He's a fun old guy. Let's give him a go. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while for me. Uh, for you guys, it's been no time at all. But I mentioned in... Either the last episode I recorded or one prior to that, I can't remember, that I was going to, like, just backlog a bunch of videos and then take a little bit of a break from the game. And I've done just that. I've had, like, four or five days off. Um, just went through my backlog and just kind of haven't recorded in a while. Uh, Isaac, at least. I've been recording other stuff, obviously. Um, and it's been, it's been nice. It's been nice. Um, it's definitely nice to get back into the game again, but it's just, like, nice to have that break. And, oh, my God, I keep forgetting to uninstall that fire respray. I'm so sorry. I can't. My brain. My brain. It'll never remember. It will never remember. Right. Let's see what we end up getting here. I can't remember exactly how this guy works, I'll be honest. Dry baby or random? I'm going to go for dry baby, to be honest. I'm going to go for dry baby. Um, For one, I think dry baby is kind of a little bit better with this guy because we've got the fringe, the friendly bracelet, whatever it's called. The thing that makes them rotate around us. Um, I mean, it's just stylistically a bit cooler, but actually I think it might be a little more practical in certain circumstances, because normally it'd be nice if you can just stand behind him, but like, in general rooms you don't really actively use Dry Baby, it just kind of happens. So I feel like in situations where I'm not actively trying to block bullets, he's going to do a much more uh, active job at potentially blocking bullets, or tears should I say, um, when he's just kind of gliding around us, hanging out, chilling. If you know what I mean. Um, as for the question of the day, I, I've, I've had so much time to think of one. You'd think that that would mean that I am, I have one ready and raring to go. But that is, in fact, completely false. Um, I need more. I need more. Uh, my, my question of the day today is going to be food related because I'm hungry. Um, if if you were able to like create your like. Do, Irrespective of budget, irrespective of anything like that, how much it would cost, what would be like your dream lunch? What would be like something that you would just absolutely wolf down? Caveat is, it's something that you have to make or something that you have made. It's not something you would order. What is something that you that you make yourself or you would love to make or love to know how to make that re regardless of how much it costs, what, what, would, what would that be for you? And that's an interesting one. I'm just going to zip back and go open that golden chest. Because I know it has an item in it. It definitely has an item in it. It 100% has an item in it. It definitely does. If I keep saying it, it will be true. Damn it. Um, I should at least go into my shop here. I've got a good bit of pennies. I will at least buy the other soul heart. Yeah, why not? Why the heck not? I would like to get to that box, because they can have items in them too, but it's fine, it's fine. Right, let's go ahead and beeline to the boss and see what we can do. I think for me, one of the things that I really want right now that I can't have is I want a um, club sandwich. But like, a club sandwich that's like very heavy on the mayo. Heinz full fat mayo is like something that I've just got such a craving for at the moment. I bought some the other day because um, me and my girlfriend had like a, a little cheat day where we ate a bunch of bad food. Um, I didn't make a club sandwich because it takes too long. But um, I did buy some mayo for the chips that we had. And ooh, I'll compare it into... Okay, that's actually really good just for the two soul hearts we get right now. Um, yeah, uh, and now that it's in and now that I've had a taste of it, I'm like, oh, club sandwich, come to me. So good. It's one of the things that I make that I'm like pretty proud of how it turns out. This guy gave us a soul heart too. We are doing well on health. Um, it's one of the things that I make that I'm like pretty proud of how it turned out. Okay, here's our planetariums. I'm glad we got Andromeda unlocked. It took a little while. I don't know. Are we going to try and unlock Tint Andromeda today? That might be a fun thing to do for us. So we can either take the planetarium item or we can split it into four random items. Nah, this is... A really good item to grab. As long as it works. I'm really hoping it does work. Yeah, it does. Good, good, good. Really, really good item on this character. Basically, um, what we can do. So, we, it's it's a little bit tricky to, to utilize correctly. 
But what we can do is we can send all of our tiers out like this and then go boom. And basically we kind of have like a melee hit now. So we do this and then go boom. That's actually really, really useful. We just got to remember if we want to actually fire them at range, we have to tap shoot. Otherwise, we're going to end up accidentally using this. I'm going to try for secret room here. Just let me gravity shift everything over here. So I don't end up knocking my bomb around. Nice, nice. I was correct. Unfortunately, it's only a spicy key. And actually, do you know what? I'm going to take a spicy key. We actually have a good amount of HP. That's actually so nice that we can use that as like a melee ability now. I love that. Now, these, these guys' fires are going to get lit here. Uh, especially because one of these guys is a bomber. This is actually really, really difficult for me to, to hit this guy without hurting myself. I'll be honest. Um, there you go. We got him. That was a little tricky. Um, I'm going to go for this as well and get another soul heart. Or we're just going to get jumper cables, which doesn't do much for us right now. But it's one of those items that can potentially be really good later down the line. That's such a cool, like, interaction with this item here. Piercing would make this even better. Piercing would make this real, real good. A sack there is always welcome. Extra bomb. Lovely bomb key even. But yeah, enemies get close to us like that. I mean, obviously there I kind of balls it up a little bit, I'll be honest. Um, but enemies get close to us like that and we just... We just pop that and we're good to go. Like I said, unfortunately, it's a little bit problematic if we accidentally charge too much when we're just non wanting to fire normally. Oh, God. The good thing is it's kind of AoE. AoE? Is that... that AoE-like, not AoEE. -E. AoE? -E? That sounds really weird to say. Um, It's kind of got that AoE effect and it lingers. So, like, enemies that chase us, it can work really well for. Like these guys, for example. There he goes. One of them dead. Really interesting combo here. Uh, tier size down isn't a great thing for us. But I... Oh, it does, I was going to say, I don't think it'll affect the size of our rings. It actually does, unfortunately. Um, so that's not particularly great. That does limit our abilities. But we can get more tiers on screen, so it's not that bad. I think we'll definitely go angel deal here. Uh, just because I know we have a lot of health, but I don't know exactly how much. And I don't want to go messing around with that, really. It has to be a really good item for me to want to take it. Right, so how do we want to play this exactly? Oh, God. Not like that. That is definitely not the way we want to play this. Good, good. Pill, I'm not interested. Thank you. So much damage. Key is nice, though. Yeah, definitely we need some uh, tier size up. In fact, let's take this for a chance at a tier size up. We didn't get one, but... Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that it affected the size of our rings. I was really hoping it wouldn't, but honestly, logically, it does make sense that it would. Beautiful. And then this guy just chases for a while, doesn't he? Okay, this guy we're not going to be able to do this with because he's just too squirrely. He likes to try and get away from us. Again, with these... Nincom poops. Unfortunately, this is actually a really annoying room. Yeah. I was, I was just about to say there's a good chance I get hit in this room. I did get hit by a larger tier. I don't know if that meant I took a full heart of damage. I think it did. I do see the tinted rock there. Very lovely. Trying to take this guy out, but it's a little difficult. Yeah, tap shooting's the way to go here. Good. Plenty of keys. Lust is probably not something I'll use for this character. Beautiful. Beautiful. I haven't seen that item room yet, have we? What on earth is this mess? Okay, I actually managed to kill most of them then by doing that. That that, that somehow worked out really well for us, so ain't going to complain too much about that. Yeah, item room is still eluding us right now, but here it is. Ask and you shall receive. Um, that is 
one soul heart, honestly a 20% chance to negate damage and the soul heart is probably worth just picking up. I realize I haven't actually used his ability yet, uh, gravity shift, um, but honestly, I'm using it when the time comes and so far it's not, not been necessary. Health here is very, very nice. Oh, I love the fact that it just lingers for just long enough to do that extra bit of damage you need. Why did I think that that was just like slowing or something? I just walked right onto that. Oh, well. Yes, jump into my trap. There you go, look, my buddy's doing well. Oh, I do not like the look of this room. Because we gotta, we got to kill the, 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 the little flies first before the chasey boys can be killed. At least while they're in that aura. Okay, that actually worked out fine. And then we can go boom. And you'll run into that. Do you want to run over here? There you go. <laughs> I love this. This is such a fun way to play this character. It's very, very different, but it's really enjoyable. And then these guys we're going to have to attack normally. Cause... Unfortunately, they're, they're kind of hard to hit for us because of the creep. There you go, we got him. Oh, another soul heart. What is going on today? The health is redonkulous. There you go. We almost killed him already. Did, did get hit twice in the in the making there, but we got that soul heart, so I'm not that bothered. And there you go. Pentagram is great because not only is it a damage up, but that is going to increase our tier size. Ooh, this isn't this is an item that's very good, but the the past few times I've had it, it hasn't worked as intended. So we will see. What it does is, it adds the prism effect to some enemies on hit. That could get real wacky if it, if it works. I, I feel like it's not going to work. I've just, the past few times I've had it, I've not seen it in action. So, and Ipecac is, Ipecac is kind of in a bad state right now. Like, it's fine. Most things work. But there's a lot of stuff in Ipecac that just doesn't work right now. Um, the developers are aware of it. Um, it's not like a thing that they just don't know. It's just they're working on a really, really big update right now that's going to fix all the issues that the mod currently has and obviously a lot more. So I think it's just kind of like a waiting until that comes out at this point. Also, jumper cables are going hard right now. We really need an active to work alongside that. Which one are you? You're the chasey, chasey one. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. That was perfect. That was very, very nice. Very timely. Beautiful. Oh, little, little babies. Yes, little baby Andromedas. Gotta love them. Head on forward. Feels weird to be commentating Isaac again. I know, I know it's like only been a few days, so it shouldn't be that like that like that that different. But it does it does feel a bit off, a bit different. But Isaac is as Isaac does. We do love a bit of Isaac. Oh, I stood way too close. I'm just a lot of the hits I'm taking on this run are just like me being an idiot. Also, you can clearly see that the prismatic abrasion, whatever the hell it's called, I can't even remember the name of it now. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be working. It's a shame. It's it's a really cool item, but. Like I said, it's been a little bit balked for a while, and we haven't seen it trigger once yet, so I'm going to assume it's not working. I'll, I'll give the devs another another little click and say, like, hey, did you know this is broken? <laughs> Just in case they don't know, but I'm pretty sure they do. Pedroff watches my videos somewhat regularly, so I'm sure anything he, anything that, that is broken, he's seeing on my videos on occasion. Ah, oh, bollocks. I thought I had a, I had my thing fully charged. I did not. Beautiful. Copper bomb is whatever. Try and find item room here. Ooh, I do not like you guys. That's why I don't like you. God, every time that happens. Every single time. Yes. 
the copper bomb strategy. I was like, I hate copper bombs. They, well, I don't hate them. They annoy me, though. They, they never go off when you want them to. So I'm just going to plant it there and hope for the best. And it worked out. Okay. Okay, dokie. Check in here, because I'd like to buy a soul heart. Can't buy a soul heart. I will at least buy that. Pretty decent value there. Okay. Yeah, health's kind of been yo-yoing for a little while here. Been going up and down quite a lot. Easy kill on all of those guys. And you as well. Oh, we have become melee Andromeda. I'm surprised I didn't kill that guy then. These guys have changed how they function a little bit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, these guys are going to be a little harder to do that with. They're all flying. Bloody hell. Land for me. Is it, is it just two of them? Or is there more? I think, I think there's just two of them. Yeah, there is. Okay. Unfortunately... As I expected, the item room is at the furthest possible point away from me. A little bit annoying. It's fine, though. It's fine. It'd be nice if we could throw out our tears and then detonate them at long range, but it's a little bit harder to do that. If we had piercing, it'd be a bit easier, as I mentioned before, but... Right now, it's not the best. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate this tail shooting little, little jockey. Okay. This is good. We got two good things here. Item room and the Tinted Rock. Tinted Rock is going to give us an item. Yes! And it's a great one at that. Squeezy with the three soul heart drop. And, oh, Cricket's body. An item that I hold very dear to my heart. Beautiful. This has gone very well. Also, I wonder if the Cricket's body shots can be detonated too. Hopefully I can carry this into the boss fight, but I don't know if it'll last that long. Got this little sticky, sticky situation going on with the slowing and all that. Oh lord, that's pretty cool. Right. Oh, this is awesome. So the ta when, when we detonate the tears, the tie the cricket's body tears still trigger. So this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna gift card this, turn it into this, and then we'll just go down to the next floor and try and find a secret room to pop that in. Not the best usage, but honestly, the range isn't really something we need. So. But yeah, so now we've got like a double attack because we can go boom and then we still get the tears. They're only small, but they work. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is pretty cool. Certainly got a bit of lag to it, but what's, an, what's a modded Isaac run without a bit of lag, really? At the end of the day, it's just inevitable. So now we can use the melee attack, and we've still got a ranged component to it, which I quite like. Oh god, this guy's invincible until we kill everything else. That spells trouble. He's a rather annoying enemy, and there's a champion over here that's taking a while for us to kill. Okay. And then, ah, oh, he's just dead. Didn't expect that. Secret room could be here. It's not. Probably should have waited to find out. But oh well. Nice. A little bit risky, but we got there in the end. Come on, secret room. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal your location. Could actually be right below us now. I need to go and check the other side of the room. Oh, Soul of Eve there, why not? 
Right, let me just go and check that out and make sure, because I don't want to have another blunder like we just had. Okay, it's very likely here. There you go. Ooh, and we get damage. And a bit of luck. And you give us a soul heart. We don't have a bomb to get to that. Pop this. We got Lumper Coal, which normally would be bad. <laughs> but not for this character. For this character, Lump of Coal is actually pretty awesome. Look at that. Look at the size of those tears there. For the cricket's body. I see you, Dormic. Don't think I don't. Hey, and we're finally getting an actual active here. Or likely, at least. Um, encyclopedia. Gain a disease or medical condition for the rest of the floor. Long-lasting damage up. I think I'm going to go for the disease thing. I like it. It's pretty cool. Kidney stone here. Now, this is going to be wacky when we pop this. I'm ready for just an absolute hellfire spray. Okay. Strange. Kidney stone is not good with this setup, really. I mean, it's not terrible, but... Didn't really function the way I'd expect it to. Soul heart in this bag? You, you gotta be? You gotta be? Ho oh ho! He knows it to be true. He can see through all your lies. Right. Press onwards we must. Press onwards we must. But yeah, really interesting run we've got going on so far. Next thing I'm really hoping for is like some just crazy cool angel deal shenanigan. Like, the prismatic thingy would have been a pretty cool one, but yeah, it's just... It ain't really doing much for us right now. Also, a random Eternal Heart. Sivu player. I will take, thank you. Kidney Stone's going off again. Honestly, in a room such as this, just take the Kidney Stone. Oh my god. Okay, that was that was kind of wacky. Beautiful. We get another book usage here. Honestly, this this book with uh with jumper cables is gonna be pretty darn good, I think. And you get taken care of as well. Some enemies. Mm, I think this is the time we use this now. And unfortunately, we got shafted so hard. We get a regular chest. That is one of the worst formations of this room that you can imagine. Very displeased. Oh, lump of... Not lump of coal. What's it called? Is buggering us up. You know what I'm trying to say. The kidney stone, that's it. Oh my god. It causes some real issues. Con it, it for sure conjures some demons. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, we got through him. Nothing there we want. No thank you, Mr. Blobby. Right, Tiny Turma itching for revenge. I love this boss so much. Oh, we got goddamn Kidney Stone proc'd again. Basically puts us out of commission for quite a while. Either that or we have to get really close up to the enemy. Which does work, but a little bit dangerous. Cool boss is dead. Unfortunately, we did get a devil deal. I'll at least check it out. Unfortunately, it's nothing that I want, though. Big sad. Still deciding on if I want to go and unlock Tainted Andromeda. I think I do. Tainted Andromeda is a really fun character. And I think we have a pretty good run for the beast here. Tiny Planet is really good against the beast anyways. And with the with the setup we got going on with Lump of Coal and Cricket's Head. Pretty good stuff. That's all of you dead. Nice. You dead as well. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh my god, we just got this tornado of tears 
all the time. It's always fun when you get one of these, like, unique combinations that you wouldn't expect work the way that it does. Like, I wouldn't have expected that Cricket's head would proc... Like, when the tears explode, that the Cricket's head shots would still be produced. I would expect that when you destroy the shot with the, with the planetarium item, it would just destroy it all. Is that Hemolacria that we just got there? That it is. That it is. Intriguing. Most intriguing. And here we get Obsessed Fan, which will definitely be shifting. If only I could hit this enemy. Unfortunately, we got screwed again. Also, the audio has died. Really bad. I apologize for your ears, people. I'm hoping it'll fix itself once we leave this place. It did. I'm, I'm not sure if it was meant to be glitched in there. Kind of felt like it was, but it was horrible to listen to. We got a lot of money out of that, though, so if this shop is good. Eh. Ooh, we might be able to get to 600 if it doesn't, if it doesn't jam, which I'm betting it's going to, but if it doesn't... Beautiful. Yes. Max store level upgraded. That is actually fantastic for us. Store level upgrades make a huge difference because the amount of stock they carry on average. And it's the, I believe it's uh, also the layouts that can show up. Um, so we're going to get level 4 layouts way more often now, which is great for us. Oh my god, with Hemolacria here, this is just crazy. Just covers the entire room. Lump of coal is really making it quite wacky as well. Right, let's get on to our boss. We haven't been looking for our fool cards. So I hope I haven't passed it by. I'm sure one of you has seen it and gone, Hey, turtle, you goddamn idiot. How could you do this to my family? Nah. My god. The intruder. I suppose the intruder technically is kind of a medical condition if you think about it. There's a spider living inside your skull. I guess I would go to the doctors if I had that. So I'll give it to you again. I I'll say that's a that's an okay one. God damn these enemies! Not dying when I want them to. Beautiful. Look at the amount of tears. I don't know. I don't get why there are uh, continuum tears though. That seems a bit odd. That, that's like not how they're supposed to look, is it? Oh, that was a really good hit there. That was me being very stupid. They actually act like continuum tears as well. We don't have anything continuum based, so I'm very confused by that. Yeah, unfortunately, I did of course miss the uh, the very important ability to leave this room. Die, damage and range. Oh, we got one of these steely hearts. These things are insanely powerful. Right, let's quickly jaunt our way back through the rooms we've already gone through. I might as well take a second puberty. Why not? Could get an extra soul heart from it, but nothing there. Won't be in a large room. It can't spawn in there. But oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Awesome. We got a full card, and we are good to go. Boss is about to get rinsed. I think if we charge up a full one of the uh, the suite of tears and then uh, let it explode. That was a bad hit. Let it explode. I think that's going to do us just fine. I realize that I'm dodging all these bombs right here. I should just be picking them up, but oh well. Good damage on the foot straight off the bat. There you go. Easy does it. And full card out of here. Let's get gone. Oh, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> Didn't realise there was a teleport I've had there. Whoopsie. Right, away we go. You're a very annoying uh, enemy. Oh, what the fuck? Um, I'm confused. 
I don't understand this room, therefore I'm going to bomb my way out of it. I, I, I'm not sure what the game's asking of me, but I don't, I don't care for it. <laughs> it's not a room I need to complete, thus I am not going to complete it. You can't make me do your bizarre games. Ooh, what the hell enemy is this? Is this a new... Some of these enemies, I swear, that like, either they're new to Fiendfolio, or they're just, like, exceedingly rare. Because I've never seen that enemy in my life. It's very possible they're just exceedingly rare, to be honest. That is kind of, like, Fiendfolio's thing. My god, we create like this half crescent moon of tears. It's amazing. Oh, that was actually a good hit. Well done. A virus. Bedbug isn't very good. I'm going to wait and come back to this. See what the other item is, and then I might gravity shift. If we can actually gravity shift when we go to the uh, other way. Oh, hello. What the hell? Getting some bad hits here, but soul hearts? Oh, just double troll bomb. That's not soul hearts at all. Brimstony boys. Good, good. It's our last shop, so we've got just enough to potentially buy a soul heart. I'd very much like to do that if we can. Oh, I'm just walking into stuff. Come on now. Idiota. Idiota. Ooh, we've got a spore shot here. Well, what are you? Spreading all sorts of goop. Calm yourself, sir. Don't need any of that goop. So many bombs. What the hell's going on with the bomb drops? Barely need them. Oh my goodness. How? Like, this floor is really long as well. What the hell? Easy. Right. Let's do the boss. I know I didn't find the shop, but I'm not going back through all that crap. Right. Make sure we find the item room here. I, like I said, I don't know if I can use Gravity Shift on the Ascent, but I'll try. Holy hell. Right, use the Lump of Coal. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we got it, we got it, we're good. We got Proptosis, which I think is bad. I don't think Proptosis is going to be good for us at all. I don't know, with Lump of Coal, maybe it's not bad. It's making our rings way bigger. Like an unbelievably amount. Unbelievably? Unbelievable amount. Ooh. Um, landing a tier on enemy reduces time until you can fire your next tier. Okay, I'm just going to take it because I can't, I can't thingy. Um, that might not be super useful for us. It's very good on other characters, though. Good. A Wombo combo coming in. And now it's just time to beeline it all the way to the boss. Well, to, to the start of the floor. Not really the boss, is it? Be nice if we can somehow get multiple charges for our book during the boss fight, but I think we'll only get like two maximum. Because we're going to get one for the... Oh, God. We're going to get one for the, um, like, entering the floor when, uh, when we start. Then we're going to get another one for be uh, beating the um, horseman, I think. But that's it. That was confusing. I honestly don't know how I didn't get hit there. Wow. A mulligan. 
I'm hoping I get like sinus infection or something like that. 3% chance to fire a tier that instantly freezes non-boss enemies. If you have more than three hearts, you take damage every 30 seconds. Every time Thorn Ring damages you, you get 7% chance to instantly freeze. That's actually really cool. I mean, I don't want it because I don't want to take that much damage. And like, we're going to be fighting a boss, so it's a bit late in the run for it to matter. But that's a pretty cool idea for a trinket, i got to say. Parasitoid doing a good job here. It's kind of crazy that, like, our actual damage stat is not very good for where we are in the game, but the synergy that we've got going on is just so unbelievably powerful. Got hit there for absolutely no reason. Oh, God. Do need a bit more health. But remember, as a character that starts with soul heart health only, laying in the bed is going to give us three soul hearts, which is pretty darn useful. Good. Probably the last time we can pop that before we uh, get to our last few floors, just in case we don't know how many brooms there is left. Extra bomb again. So many bombs. God damn it, I didn't realise there was wrigglers underneath the earth. I have taken an obscene amount of damage thus far. And I keep I keep taking more. I'm d I honestly don't know if we'll actually make it at this point. I'm taking so much damage. Even with the three soul hearts it gives us, it might not be enough. Of course, I could just use my tears normally, which I haven't done for a while. I keep forgetting I can just do that. Probably a better thing to do right now. Seems to be certainly doing more damage. Bat boss. That boss went down quick. Wow. Right, into the light. Last two floors. Come on, give us a tinted rock. These enemies are a pain in the ass. Luckily, pretty easy for us to kill. Don't know what you do? Don't want to find out. Oh god, we don't want these jumper fucks. These guys hit me pretty regularly. Luckily, we're good. Don't know if we can get anything useful out of this, but we don't need our money for anything. Ah, it's just more money. More money, more problems. Bounty shots are coming in. Careful. Doubt it's going to be this way, but I'll try it. Oh, we've got the Mega Boys. I love the way they, them guys look. Good. Good. Oh, right. Last floor. Last floor on this unholy ascent. Another one of you bastards. They're just a pain in the ass. They have like a lot of health. They do that attack and they do the explodey when they die as well. Which I routinely forget about. Obviously, this room is a little bit annoying. I'm just going to plant a bomb there and... I was going to say get out, but honestly, they both jumped directly on top of the bomb. I no longer need to do that. I didn't expect them to both commit suicide onto the bomb. I planted it to a leave, but... There you go. It's put life full of surprises. Good. A little bit late there, dry baby, but... Thanks for the support. 
Definitely a room we have no business being in. Ooh, this enemy can be annoying as well. It's got a lot of health. So has a lot of shit. Right, we're good. We have made it. We do get to sleep, so we get a little bit of health back here. Not a lot, only three soul hearts. It's not going to do us too much. Copper bombs I don't care for. I didn't even bloody drop a trinket. Ugh. Completely forgot about that part of this whole shebang. Whoopsie. It's fine, we're just gonna do the beast anyways. Tiny term are unfortunately not one of the ones we were looking for, but there you go. Should do this attack over and over and over again? Okay. Well, that's that phase dead. There you go. Good bit of damage on him. Spray it off the bat. Oh my god, we almost killed him. This attack was just so much damage. I walked right into him there, trying to get more damage on, but ignore that. There you go. Beautiful. Right, last few bosses, and then we're good to go. Right. Don't know whether to, to stack them up and wait, or how I should play these guys. They do quite a lot of damage, to be fair. My goodness. Okay, th this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, it's definitely the way to go. Right, just stack up as many tears as we can. Wait until they wander into their impending doom. All these other tears on screen, I was hoping they'd stay there, but... Not so bad. If we can charge it up before the other tiers disappear, then we've really got some insane damage on our side, like that look. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely crazy. Oh god, I gravity shifted, they all just fell, I think that's, I think that's how that would work. Kidney stone, damn it. It's not the one we wanted at all. That actually actively makes this fight a lot harder. Like, I'm trying to let go now to deal more damage. God damn it, kidney stone. You've ruined everything. Kidney stone, you've fucked it all. You've absolutely fucked it all. Of all the items we could have gotten. Kidney Stone was definitely one I did not want. Right. Come into my web, please. You move forward a lot further than I thought you would. I've taken a lot of damage here that's very, very dumb, but I'm not giving up on this idea that I'm working with here. Maybe you're dead as well. Right, the beast might be a little harder to do this on, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Remember that the beast, like, doesn't have a hitbox for a little while when he first enters the stage. Okay, now. 
a lot of damage. Oh, kidney stone again, you bitch! No, wasted so much potential damage. The patterns that we're making here are pretty crazy. So much potential damage wasted because of kidney stone. It's so, so frustrating. Quite a lot of damage there, though. The game is lagging so hard right now. It does not know what to do. I should skip him straight into the next phase. It did. Nice. Oh, what the fuck? He had a real hard time deciding where he wanted to pop up there. Beautiful. It's going to kidney stone us at least once more before we have this over, isn't it? Okay, now we're good. Okay, unfortunately no tainted unlock because I'm stupid, but either way that was a really good run. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.